welcome back to engineering nature this is mehul your guide for answers fluent this one is the third part in the tutorial series for the introduction to fluent in very first two part we had discuss about the general setup in the fluent at the same time in the second part we had discuss about the various models available for various physics I recommend to uh, visit that uh, tutorial first before proceed this one now uh, let's move to this uh, video tutorial so once you done your general setup at the same time choose appropriate uh, physics of the model so now uh, you should go with uh, the material selections you double click on that you can select fluid as well as solid material from this window you can uh, the air you can set the name for your material uh, the various fluid as well as solid materials are available in the fluent database uh, once you double click on fluent database the library for the various properties are available with us these are the various fluids or materials which you can select and actually you can use for the fluid flow uh, let me show you uh, we have uh, water once you select the water the property for the water that is general property for water density viscosity and all others can be uh, visible over here you can simply uh, use that property for your simulation by copy that and close this window once you copy that uh, it will appear into your uh, the selections of fluid material so i had selected water uh, liquid as well as vapor the air is by default material in the fluid similar way you can also uh, set any new uh, material or fluid and then you can define or create the fluid for fluid property for that once you select or once you set the material then uh, you need to define the cell zone condition so in the cell zone condition actually you can uh, set the fluid uh, which we are actually going to uh, use in the fluid domain so once you double click on the fluid zone conditions in the fluid zone condition you can uh, actually uh, use various options where you can actually set the porous material from the porous zone so that porous zone uh, windows will be unable there you can actually define porosity or uh, porosity of your fluid domain then uh, there is uh, other options like if you have uh, some mesh is actually changing continuously during the simulation in your fluid domain that you can actually define by fluid uh, um, you can define by mesh motion you can also uh, add some source which having some uh, turbulent and kinetic energy or some form of energy so that is uh, you can actually enable from the source terms so here uh, you simply uh, select uh, the your appropriate cell zone conditions now very important we need to define the boundary conditions what problem according to the problem we have to set our boundary conditions and values in the boundary conditions right now in my problem we have uh, uh, one inlet single inlet at the same time single outlet at the same time uh, we have also wall that we had defined now in the inlet sections once you set the inlet you have various options where you can actually select a mass flow inlet or a pressure inlet or velocity inlet whatever available values uh, you are having that type of uh, boundary condition you have to set let us say i i just set the pressure at the inlet of this uh, channel so you just give the name for that and just set the values for that let's say if it is a pressure inlet i am using five bar of pressure for my particular problem and uh, 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 you can actually define the turbulence intensity and hydraulic diameter information if you are having so it will helping you to initialize the problem let us say uh, we have uh, uh, available intensity uh, roughly available intensity for the internal flow is almost 5 percentage and i set the hydraulic diameter that is in my case it's uh, almost 6.25 mm uh, once you enable the energy equations the thermal options is automatically enabled in this inlet sections you can set the outlet uh, condition for the boundary uh, in outlet normally it's a pressure outlet boundary condition but also you can change uh, the type of boundary condition as per your problem so in the pressure outlet boundary condition you can actually set uh, 
uh, your outlet pressure normally it's atmospheric outlet so uh, you can set a zero gauge pressure zero gauge pressure that is the atmospheric uh, pressure uh, so here also uh, same way uh, you can set some outlet at the outlet your intensity and hydraulic diameter if it is available with you so that parameter you can actually uh, set in case of turbulence so these are the outlet what i am talking about so you just set as a zero gauge pressure you can also uh, prevent uh, the backflow uh, by just enabling the uh, prevent black flow so this is all uh, the uh, inlet as well as outlet boundary conditions and then uh, you can actually uh, set certain wall condition right now uh, in the wall you just go to the edit mode in the wall in current problem uh, we actually set as a no sleep uh, wall boundary conditions because it's a stationary wall you can actually name uh, that wall and because it's a stationary so it automatically con consider as a no slip boundary condition that means velocity must be zero at wall you can also set a moving wall in case of turbines or uh, pump uh, impeller of pump where you can uh, set the rotation of that uh, wall or that blades so current problem i said that it's a no slip boundary condition you can also if you have some shearing uh, uh, consideration you can set that you can also set roughness constant if uh, you want to consider the roughness effect in the flow so these are the options uh, uh, where you can set uh, uh, for the wall boundary conditions now after a uh, set of a boundary condition uh, uh, you can actually uh, if uh, mesh interface is uh, individual case if your problem is actually uh, having different mesh interface uh, issue then you can actually define this in the case of dynamic also it's uh, again uh, if your mesh is continuously changing uh, um, geometry boundary uh, is continuously changing then you have to go with uh, dynamic mesh option uh, this option is generally uh, uh, using for like let's say piston cylinder uh, problem or something like that so you can visit uh, uh, my tutorial regarding dynamic mesh uh, tutorial then you you should set certain reference value in the reference value uh, normally used to calculate certain results if you set reference value uh, from let's say inlet so in case of inlet because our current problem is uh, if, if it is a two dimensional problem then definitely you have to set the de depth that means hydraulic diameter they uh, automatically consider as a one meter so that you can set uh, to calculate certain results in the reference value so this is all about uh, the general setup that we need to uh, set uh, for our particular problem so uh, i stop here and then we proceed with uh, solutions and post processing part so thank you very much stay connected goodbye